So now you've seen two. One, a full-out hoax, totally doing something that's not real. The Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus, turning it into a website to make you believe it's a real thing. This one, dhmo.org, used a real thing, water, and just didn't tell you it was water. But is it really dihydrogen monoxide? Yes, it's H2O. Had it said H2O, you would have known it, and you probably wouldn't even have read this website. So that's uh, two ways you got to watch out for uh, what you see on the internet. But this one really uh, uh, fooled a lot of people. And I've even had students who were like, well, yeah, this makes sense. This could be true. And this is a video on liquid mountaineering. Check it out. Few people have tried it. Nobody has ever managed to get anywhere close to what we got like today. You have to believe you can do these things. It's not like impossible. There's been a few people that have been like sort of following us. It's me, my boots and I. We're gonna make it. I definitely think it's gonna be the next big thing. <laughs> Liquid mountaineering is actually a uh, Oops, brainchild. It's a new sport. It was not existing before. You have to run very fast on the water. I mean, obviously, the first step was the most important one. When we, like, discovered, oh, my God, Jesus, we're going one step, we're going two steps, we're going three steps. We're discovering it as we go along. While we're still on land, we try to get up really speed. Soon we, we touch the water, we try to get like, like a sewing machine. It's not straight into the water, you know, in a curve, in a slight curve. And by that bend, you're actually not allowing yourself to sink into the water, and you want to keep that skimming sensation going as long as you can. <laughs> What gets us those extra steps are these shoes. The, the original equipment where it first all started was the equipment that would help repel water. But we found some shoes by mistake, actually. Totally water repellent. Water's like water off a duck's back. It takes actually a lot of practice, a lot of focus. I think if you don't actually believe that you're going to walk on that water, it's not going to happen for you. system obviously that pulls us into the water with a bit more speed <laughs> in a certain way and, and and this sport actually allows you to push your horizons further it's just it's not boxing you in and saying that's what you are you're just like you're moving past it all so that has to be real right let's find out in the next episode